So I know I'm a bit late when it comes to a lot of this stuff. I mean, a lot of it hinders the fact that I don't have any stuff yet. So these are all proxies because this is supposed to be Link Cross. But North America has the set delayed, so I already have some coming in from some country in Europe. I, I forgot which, but it's coming in. So keep in mind, uh, proxies, this is going to be Link Cross, not Link Spider. And Thousand Eyes Restrict is the Trishula Fusion, which is a level 9 fusion monster that summons itself by banishing three monsters with different names from your field. So those will be the only proxies in the extra deck. Whereas the proxies in the main deck will just be a Mecha Phantom Beast O-Lion, which is a very standard Halka Firebricks target. I have a Discord server, so you can go ahead and find that in the description of the video. And uh, if you're gonna buy stuff on TCG Player, why not use my link? I'll do us both some good. So for this combo video, I only have three combos I wanna show you. They're all going to feature Deep Sea Diva as your starting card. That's because there are actually like a dozen different good combos using Link Cross. So I'm gonna have them split up between some videos. And of course, Diva's at three. You have three Deep Sea Aria to search the Diva. So it becomes all that more common to have it. So this is just gonna be the video for the Diva. Other videos might have some Neptibus plus some other extenders of some sort. So for this combo, there's some cool different variations. This is obviously gonna be your starter cards, the single Diva. But any of these cards in your main deck are gonna be used in the combo. So basically, you summon Neptibus, send Dragoons, add Dragoons, add Minstrel, Minstrel discards Dragoons, you take a card from your opponent's hand, then Dragoons adds either Lapis or adds Mullen Glacier. This is your Helga Fibrix target, so these are the only cards you're using in the main deck. Now for the extra deck, it's like the same eight cards. Of course, you can go up to 10 if you wanna play with stuff like uh, Link Karibo, et cetera. And other different extenders that I showed in the beginning of the video can all have some worth to farther extend because you're not locking yourselves out of the extra deck because you're not playing the Aurora. So for this first combo, it's going to be a, it's going to end on a True King of All Calamities as well as a Mullen Glacier hand. So to start the combo, we're going to normal summon Diva and supposed to summon Neptibus from our deck. Neptibus' effect will send Dragoons to add Dragoons and Dragoons will add Deep Sea Menstrual. Deep Sea Menstrual can discard Dragoons for cost to look at your opponent's hand and take a card out of it this over here. On a new chain, Dragoon's effect will activate because it was sent to the graveyard to activate a water monster's effect. And this card will go ahead and add us Mullen Glacier. From here, we will link both our tuner and non-tuner off to summon Crystron Halka Firebrix. On summon, Halka Firebrix will special summon the Mecha Phantomies O-Lion from our main deck. This is a level two tuner that floats into a token. We have five waters engraved, so we can go ahead and summon the Will and Glacia from our hand. Zones aren't really important. Next, we'll take Hakka Fireworks and link it off to summon the new Link Cross, which is a Link 1 monster. That summons tokens up to the Link rating of the monster used for material. These are level 1 tokens. We can use a token plus our level 2 O line to go into Mar Martial Metal Marcher. On summon, this will be Chainlink 1, this will be Chainlink 2. Chainlink 2, 2 supposed to summon a level 3 Mecha Phantom Beast token. And Marcher was supposed to summon a tuner from our graveyard. So the tuner here, you're going to want to revive Minstrel, a level 3 tuner target. And we were going to use Minstrel plus a token, which is level th 3 Mecha Phantom Beast token. Which, whichever, whichever token that was summoned from the Mecha Phantom Beast, level 3 plus level 3 tuner. To Synchro Summon for Brionic Dragon of the Ice Barrier. So the reason why I play this card and I really like it is because if you're playing Dark Ruler No More in your main deck, which I highly recommend, you can drop this and this combo builds your board, but also offers tons of opportunity to also break your opponent's board. So it's a really good card to play in the extra. So from here, we can use Marshmallow Marcher as a level three tuner and Ice Barrier to go into the level nine Ravenous Crocosaur Arctus. Because we use one non-tuner to summon him, we can go ahead and draw two, one card in our hand, right here. So the reason why we didn't use Marcher plus the level three token is because the tuner or the synchro monster you summon using this card becomes a tuner and you can't use two tuners to summon a synchro monster. So that's why we had to use the new deep sea menstrual as our level three target with the token to go into Brianna. From here, we will banish the Mullen Glacier, the token, 
and the Link Cross to special summon the Trishula Fusion Monster. I'll go ahead and put a uh, proxy translation up on the corner or whatever. And from here, we can overlay and summon True King of all calamities. So over and all, it's a three card hand loop. If I can find the die. Three card hand loop. The menstrual card will return during the end phase, leaving them with four cards in hand to deal with a calamities. So the calamities is in defense because that lets us not be able to be destroyed by Lightning Storm. They also don't have any way to use evenly matched to clear the board because we only have one monster on the board. This card's in your hand drawn. So therefore, if you started with five cards, you use your Diva and then Jewel cards. So you have five cards in hand plus a Calamities on the board. For our next combo, we are going to be incorporating the Herald of the Arc Light as well as the Boreload Savage Dragon into our Link Cross combo. The cool thing is, is that previously, we used the Mecha Phantom Beast Link Monster, Auroradon, to be able to go to these cards using Halka Firebox. But now that we have the Link Cross, we were able to bypass this card completely. I mean, it's still a good card. It can definitely be relevant if your opponent has two hand traps. But with the Link Cross, we were able to not walk ourselves into non-using Link Summonings for the rest of this turn, and able to still end on more cards should you have more extenders in your hand. Same as before, we're going to normal summon the Diva and special summon the Prince from our deck. We're going to use Prince's effect to send Dragoons' cost to our Dragoons. New Chainlink Dragoons will search for Deep Sea Minstrel. We'll use Deep Sea Minstrel to discard the Dragoons for cost, taking a card from the opponent's hand, and Dragoons will search for Lapis Dragon instead. Lapis will special summon himself from the hand by his own effect. You do not banish Lapis Dragon if he gets into the graveyard if you special summon himself from the hand. He only gets banished if he's revived from the graveyard to the hand, then he gets banished, okay? He doesn't get banished if you just special summon from the deck added in special, okay? So, stays in the graveyard. All's good. We'll use Diva plus Lapis to special summon Halka Fibers, because Halka Fibers does not specify that you need to have two tuners. Halka Fibers will special summon the level 2 Mega Phantom Beast O-Line. And we'll proceed to link off the Fibrix for Link Cross. Link Cross will support someone two level one tokens. And we'll use a level one token plus a lion to synchro into Martial Metal Marcher. Chain link one, chain link two. So we'll summon a token with level three. And Marcher can revive any tuner in our graveyard. So we will revive the Lapis Dragon. Now this is not special summoning by his own effect. He still gets into the graveyard. From here, we can use Lapis, plus the level three tokens for summoned by the Mecha Phantom Beast, to Synchro, and to Borload Savage Dragon. Savage Dragon's effect will attach the Crystal Halka Fyrex, giving him 3,750 attack and two counters. From here, we will use the level one token, plus Metal Marcher, and go into a Herald of the Arc Light. Now, if you do play Link Kareeba, you could then use the Neptibus as material to go into the Link Kariba below the Link Cross zone. Make sure you don't clog this zone. Therefore, during your opponent's turn, you have two negates, and if they try to attack over this in the battle phase, you can use Link Kariba to drop his attack to zero to protect your monster. Alternatively, if you really want to be a bad person to the opponent, you could link off both Cybers monsters for a terrible proxy of Union Carrier, and use Union Carrier to attach the Destruction Swordsman Buster Welp to Savage to lock your opponent completely out of the extra deck. I'm not really a fan of that combo because it wastes too many extra deck spots, but you do you. This last combo is essentially a pot of greed because we're not going to summon Mullen Glacia. However, if you play Mullen Glacia in multiples, you have a higher chance of seeing it in your starting hand, so you can drop it more often. But we're going to be searching Lapis Dragon instead and use the Crocosaur Dragon to get two draws. Let's normal some Diva and Special Prince from our deck. Use Prince's effect to send Dragoons to add Dragoons. Dragoons effect add Minstrel. Minstrel will then discard Dragoons to take a card from the opponent's hand. I keep forgetting to rotate the die, but this is only one card, so it doesn't matter. Dragoons effect will search for Lapis. Lapis will switch on himself from our hand. We can use Lapis and Diva. So we're going to Christian Halka Fyrex, who will special the Mecha Phantom Beast O-Lion. From here, Halka Fyrex will go into Link Cross. This is our primary target for Link Cross because it's just an easy avenue to go into things. 
if you do play targets with Halka Firebix, you know, for the Dagda plays or for hand loop stuff, you're welcome to do that. You don't have to play the Link Cross. It's just another possible combo extension. Two level one tokens. And then we can use O-Lion plus a level one token to go into Martial Metal Marcher. Chain Link one, Chain Link two. Level three token. And Marcher will revive Lapis Dragon. So you could go into a Trishula here, but I don't advise it because you don't have anything in the graveyard to banish. It's just like a one card hand loop. And you're better off searching for Moon Glacia instead. So instead, because we didn't search Moon Glacia, we're going to use Lapis plus a level one token plus the level three token. So three plus one plus five is nine. Two Synchro into the Ravenous Crocosaur Arcadus. On summon, Arcus is going to draw us two cards, putting us with six cards in our hand. And then next, we could synchro using a level three plus a level one to go into Herald of the Arc Light for an additional disruption. Because, for example, you can discard two cards to destroy something your opponent controls. Then, if you discard an Atlantean monster per se, you can then trigger their effects because he's a water monster, and it's possibly two or three disruptions in one card. So kind of like um, Spiral Sleeper, in a sense. So this is just a blank negate. This is just a level uh, Link, one to Link 1 monster with 900 attack. But you don't have to go into the Herald. You, you very well, from here, could just banish all three monsters. For the Trishula Fusion monster. And overlay both for the True King of all Calamities. So that ends you with... The two cards you drew from Crocosaur and the four cards in your starting hand. So you end on a Calamities plus six cards. Your opponent does have six cards in hand to try and break this board. So if you're going to do it, I do recommend playing Long Glacier first and linking it off to some of the Calamities. Because next turn you may have skipped your battle phase, but you still have all this other like eight, seven cards in your extra deck to build a stronger board. So before we turn off the video, I do want to cover some of the extenders. Um, that I have. All right. So, all of the possible extenders, at least all the good ones. All of these cards are excellent extenders, and if you do not open the Diva, and instead open just the Neptibus, the Neptibus plus any of these extenders basically equals Diva if your opponent doesn't have a negation of some sort. Because they could Veiler this and stop your extra normal summon. This card is just a free summon, but it clogs your zones. This card has to discard something, so it could mess with your graveyard, but also lets you use Deep Sea Aria super quickly. Stickers is basically like Shathana. Aqua Spirit eats a prior setup. These are god tier extenders because they equal negates or they just allow options for rank sevens or rank eight plays. And all are very good options for a build that focuses on using Link Cross as your primary combo avenue. And of course, Dark Glen No More paired with the Brionic, which is a board breaker that you use to climb up into your Synchro Monsters, is a very good combination. Going first, going second, it has its place in the extra deck. 